Good morning, X Factor family. What a great Saturday it is. It's about, uh, let me get the time right. It's 9.47 on a Saturday morning. Got to sleep in a little bit. My son is at his grandparents' house still, so got to relax in the bed. Um, my wife was downstairs cooking. I will show you, let me go up, we'll open it real quick. So this is what my wife is cooking up. I think it's an egg scramble, or egg white scramble. Got some salt, kielbasa sausages. Uh, it has six and a half egg whites, that's all we had left. And then it has some spinach in it. So nice, clean egg scramble. You know, my wife hasn't really experimented with cooking the healthy version until she started counting her macros. So I'm very impressed. She is cooking stuff that I could eat too, so I'm gonna enjoy this egg white scramble. Has a bit fat in it um, from the kielbasa sausage, but you know, you can squeeze it in, you can fit it in. The kielbasa sausage, I think has 16 grams of fat per serving, and each serving is two ounces. I'm gonna put it in my fitness pal to see how much it weighs out cooked, but that's what that is. This is what I'm making for us. Not your normal pancakes, they are protein pancakes. So I did use the Hungry Jack pancake mix and one scoop of strawberry cake, whey HD BPI, and they look great. I'm really good at making, pan well, except for this one, a little irregular, but I'm really good, that one too, I'm really good at making pancakes. Um, I like making pancakes. Oh, and I like making them fluffy. I like my pancakes fluffy. I really don't like thin pancakes. That's not appeasing. And I mean, if I eat thin pancakes, I'll probably have to eat a lot of them. So, anyways, this is what I'm cooking up for breakfast. Going to be breaking the fast a little earlier today. Like I said, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'll probably be eating around 10.15. So, maybe even 10.30. But I usually eat around 11, 30, 12. That's when I go to the gym, usually on a regular. But anyway, so yeah, we got a lot, we got a lot going on. My wife is going to go get her nails done in a little bit. Uh, you know, get her, get her, get her lady on, her women on, her friend, my client, and then they're gonna do that. I'm gonna chill at the house, edit some videos, get some work done in that in the YouTube area. Got to get some stuff done. Got to catch up. Um, I think I need to, I need to upload. March 3rd vlog, March 4th vlog. Today is the 5th, I believe. Yep. Today is the 5th, so I'm not too far behind, but I need to catch up on that. And then at 1 o'clock, I'm going to train. So I'll probably leave the house around 12.30 so I can get to the gym, you know, get warmed up. And I'm going to train at 1, probably 1 to about 2.20, 2.30-ish. Get an hour and 30 in, something different, because I usually only train for 60 minutes. So I'm going to get up about a 90-minute workout today. Might throw in some cardio. And uh, I'm going to train my wife and my client at 2.30. So, going to get them straight for about an hour. So, an hour, maybe even longer because I'm kid-free. So, we can pretty much, we have time to, you know, do whatever. But anyways, let me go ahead and flip these pancakes for, in fact, let me show you guys my flipping skills. Let's see if I can do it. We're holding the camera. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. Give it to you guys real. Give it to you guys real. Practice your flipping. Practice your flipping. Look at that. Those are some good pancakes. I'm trying to tell you, I'm good when it comes to pancakes, man. I'm good when it comes to pancakes. Don't judge my pancakes. I'm going to let that one sit. Because as you see, that's a little lighter than all the rest of them. And that's because I put these ones on last. So I'm going to let that one sit for a little bit longer. But that's what we got, guys. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see the weight loss? So... 187.6 this morning, all-time low for this cut. I knew something was up. I told you last night, I'm eager to see where my weight is going to be at in the morning. I just, 
sometimes you can feel the progress, you can feel the results. I just felt it, so I knew, I knew today was going to be something. And yeah, new low weigh in, 187.6. I think we need a cheat meal, guys. You gotta celebrate sometimes. You gotta celebrate. I'm gonna see what my wife wants to do. See what kind of cheat meal she wants. Can you guys see that? So this is what the egg scramble looks like when you pull it out of the oven. You got your sauces, your spinach, and your egg whites. As you see, some is gone. I have mine right here. It looks pretty good from my angle. I'm trying to get good angles for you guys. And my wife grabbed some, but she has ran out of the building. She is always rushing, and she didn't properly time herself, so she had to run up out of here so she could make her nail appointment. But anyway, so I will be eating my breakfast alone today. No biggie, and she forgot to grab her pancakes, so I'm going to go ahead and eat one, eat it for her. <laughs> so two servings of the pancake mix and one scoop of protein, all for me. And I have, this was about six and a half ounces of egg whites total. So six and a half, I would say that's only like four, four egg whites. I'm not even sure if she, if she tracked it right, but let's just say we got some good quality protein on the plate. Protein on the plate. There you go. Okay, so we got the food right here. Let me go ahead and do a taste test on this scramble to see if my wife really hooked it up I trust her now I trust her so we got some egg white we got some sausage if I can get a focus got some egg white got some sausage don't ask me why it's focused on me anyways egg white sausage got some spinach Tastes pretty good. Just what I thought it would taste like. Can't get no type of focus in here. Mmm. She got some peppers in here. Oh, you can taste them too. That tastes good. Alright. Let's get these protein pancakes to try. Now this is my doing right here. So let's see if I really hooked it up. Can't go too wrong with pancakes, man. Protein pancakes. And hopefully it tastes like strawberry cake. Like it should. Here you go right there. Oh yeah, we gotta focus on that. That's good. Hey man, it tastes like cake. Hey man, I ain't playing. Hey, we get you some of that BPI. That's good. Somebody asked me in, my, in the comments, how do I like the BPI uh, supplements? The protein is phenomenal because the flavor, I think the flavor of the BPI protein is just way more, way more tastier than a lot of proteins. Like if it says it's strawberry cake, it tastes like strawberry cake. To me, that is. So my wife doesn't think so, but she doesn't really like any protein powders. But anyways, that's just my uh, opinion on it. I enjoy them, and I'm glad I made these protein pancakes because it tastes great. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, start editing, editing some videos, check with you guys in a few. I'm about to get my scoop of pre-workout. I was going to have a Twinkie post-workout, I mean pre-workout, like a pre-workout snack, but I'm still feeling pretty full from the... Uh, for my breakfast, the uh, four protein pancakes and the egg whites, the egg white scramble. So I'm actually feeling pretty good. Still got a lot of food on my stomach. So I'm not going to have a pre-workout snack. I'm just going to take the pre-workout and I should be good. I want to squat today and it's a leg day. So I don't want to, I don't want to be too full. I don't want to train too full because I'm used to training, you know, close to fasted. So anyways, uh, yeah, get the scoop in and let's hit legs. What's going on, family? This is going to be a quick commentary right here. This is my quick, simple, 
leg routine that I had on Saturday, which is uh, March the 5th. So basically, I never usually go this high in reps when it's on squat. So this is why this day felt great. I'm definitely, definitely impressed with the uh, the way I felt after performing two sets of 10 with 275 pounds and then two sets of seven with 275 pounds. So in so in total, I I went for 200, I used 275 pounds and I went for four sets of seven to 10. Like I said, two of those sets were 10 reps and two of them were seven. Definitely felt good. The reason why I stopped at seven is because I didn't want to jeopardize my form just to get the reps. You know, seven, once I reached seven, once I reached six, I went ahead and did another one and then it felt as if, yeah, go ahead and rack the weight, rest up, and then hit it back again. So that's basically what you see. I am, I did speed up the, this footage, this uh, workout footage, and I should have sped up a little faster. Uh, I didn't, but I was taking my time, slow and controlled, really making sure I hit depth and making sure that my form was on point. I don't want to have a, a lot of weight on my back and not hitting the movement correctly. So keep that in mind. Always focus on the form. Always make sure you are doing your exercises the right way because if not, you will get an injury. And I am no stranger to injuries. I had one, and I hope I never see it again. But anyways, so yeah, this is my last set of 275 pounds right here. Like I said, slow and controlled, really making sure I hit death. This was a different type of workout right here because these squats right here took me about 30 minutes, and then I moved on to some uh, some standing hamstring curls, which took up another. 30 minutes, uh, a rough, a rough 20, 25. And then I moved on to another exercise, but right when I moved on, I was stopped by a friend and they were about to play basketball. So I went ahead and stopped working out legs and got some cardio in. So here you're seeing my hamstring curls. It's of course I fast forwarded, it, but, uh, pretty much slow and control, making sure I squeeze at the top, really feeling the hamstring, uh, being being tense, being stretching at the bottom and being squeezed at the top, really focus on form and all that good stuff. But anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so workout complete. So this is what happened. I did I did those squats and then I did those hamstring uh, standing leg curls and then I played basketball. So I got some cardio in. Uh, a few fellas that I know from school were in there playing basketball, so I was like, you know what, I might as well go hoop with them, which I did. So anyway, uh, I headed home, about to go to the to the house, shower up. I got my post-workout Twinkie right here. Um, and yeah, that's what it is. So I got my cardio in and got a couple sets on the squats and the hamstring curl. So I mean, it was a decent, it was decent for a leg day, um, the second leg day of the week. I got... I got a lot out of those squats, so I'm um, I'm satisfied with the workout. And then I went ahead and hit those hamstrings, so I'm pretty satisfied. So yeah, I got the cardio in. I haven't did cardio since I did that roll machine earlier in the week, so definitely wanted to get some cardio in. But anyways, I'll catch you guys uh, at the house. So this has turned into a non-counting cheat day. Uh, I'm pretty much not gonna count any macros today. You saw what I ate for breakfast. I could count, you know, I could track, you know, but might as well just take a take one day off. It's necessary. It's not it's not a bad thing. You always want to step back, take a break, you know, when you diet and I've been I've been cutting for quite some time, like I said, since December, so a few non-counting cheat days here and there are decent and you know with my cheat days or cheap meals i usually don't go extreme like i don't go crazy with my cheats so i'm gonna go ahead and jot this down as a non-counting cheat day because i'm just not going to open my fitness pal just not going to and you know that's why i was just riding and thinking about it i just not, i'm not gonna open it so <clears throat> that's what that is uh, me and my wife are going to go to my in-laws house 
Uh, my father-in-law is cooking out on the grill, I believe. So I'm pretty sure he has some ribs. So I'm gonna grab some of those. Probably got some birds, a chicken, and all that. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna enjoy the day. For my wife, she's been training real hard, and uh, I just finished training her. And this is Saturday. Like I've never seen her in the gym on a Saturday. So I'm definitely impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and reward her with a nice cheat meal slash cheat day. She doesn't know it's like a cheat day type thing, but it is what it is. Uh, she had those egg whites for uh, breakfast as well. So she ate, she kept pretty clean this morning. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and jot this down as a non-kind cheat day. So I'll see you guys when we get in the car and head to the in-laws. I'm getting pretty hungry and I'm trying to upload a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and snack on a protein bar. Be up chocolate chip cookie dough, of course. Hooters. Medium. You know how I roll. Get some shrimps. Let me see what's wrong with this girl. Who? I look like it too. They got the lettuce right there. Yeah, but it ain't it because. I just. Hey, look, I had to make sure. I had to make sure we had our food. Huh? Why well, I want them to take our food? <laughs> I was like. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, boy. I told the. I told the people that you deserve a cheat meal today. And I got it. Yeah, you never can go wrong with um, Hooters. Now we're about to go get some steaks. I'm... Do you want no steak? No, I don't want no steak. No, we're about to go get a steak. Screw you, that's why you, you're not allowed have to go to a liquor store and buy your own liquor. You're but not I... responsible. Yeah, say that. Responsible. She got her kid in the back seat. Look, look. <laughs> oh, somebody else is in there. I'm about to say, oh man. <laughs> Now you stay right there now. <laughs> I need a drink. Don't move. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I left my wallet at the house. I left it in my gym bag. That's that's very bad. I can't be driving like this. But uh, yeah, it was loud and hooter, so I didn't talk or anything like that. But I got. A 10 piece medium wing. Same thing I get all the time, curly fries. And I ate two of my wife's wings. She had some uh, Daytona wings. I told her to get 10 because I know I was going to eat some. But of course, she got a box. She's taking hers back to the house. I told her she got to eat them tonight. She got to eat them tonight because tomorrow is back on the macros. Back on the macros. But yeah, what I was saying was we're going to a friend's house to eat some steak. They cook some steak for us. Well, for me, she's not going to eat. She's pretty full. But, uh, yeah, I don't turn down no steak, man. Not no free steak. Not no free protein. I don't turn it down. So we better head over there and get some, get some grub. And then last night, I ended up, we didn't go out. We were supposed to go out. Remember I told you we was going to my brother-in-law's house, but we didn't do that. So we are doing that tonight. So it is going down tonight. So that's what we'll be going after we, uh, Go to the friend's house and eat the steak. So I'll check with you guys and let you see the steak. So sit tight. Oh, what you get? Uh, <clears throat> what you think I got? Some 20 grand. Is that what you think I got? Peach. Is that what you think I got? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Mm. What would you get? What you think I got? 20 grand, I just told you. I like that. What you got? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We got the Jenga popping. Jenga.
dub, sweet and sour. <laughs> you want all the sauces, you want the, the link was in pizza, but you gotta get some ranch. <laughs> I like to dip, I'm a dipper.